Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call guide video. Today I'm going to be going through item tinkering devices. So there are five things that you can make with item tinkering that are not actually related to tinkering, but you make like a device that can be used related to another skill. First one we're gonna go th uh, through is the Horn of Leadership. There are actually, one, two, there's actually six different versions of this. So um, based on what your own leadership skill is, you could make like a lower level one to for a lower level character, but I'm just gonna show you how to make the highest level one, which is the platinum horn of leadership. So I'm gonna need a platinum scarab. I already have all of the things gathered that I need to make all of these devices. Um, the best places to get them are just from like a shopkeeper. So you need, there's basically three places you need to go. You need to go to a master mage, which is where you're gonna get this smelting pot. You need to go to a shopkeeper, which is where you're gonna get some of the other alchemical items. And you need to go to a jeweler who is gonna sell you some of the jeweling thing, uh, jewel crafting things for some of the other devices. But platinum horn of leadership, first thing you're gonna do is you're going to smelt your scarab and then you're going to take a sheet metal form, apply it, uh, apply the melted platinum scarab to the sheet metal form, and you'll get a sheet metal, plat platinum sheet metal. A lot of the stuff that you need for these is reusable, which is really nice. So the smelting pot is not reusable. Then you're gonna use a hammer on that sheet metal, and it's gonna form it. And then you'll use a leather strap on the formed horn and you'll get a platinum horn of leadership which is actually super useful so it's going to add 10 health but it, it does it to your entire fellowship so it's really good for group quests but you have to have a leadership of 225 to use it so that's the first one really good the next one is a similar device um but for mana so for this one you're going to also start with a platinum scarab and a smelting pot, it's very similar, but you're gonna just do it, um, you're not gonna form it the same way. So you're gonna do that, and now we're gonna take a metal mold, not metal, metal, one of those good homonyms, and pour it into the metal mold to get a platinum metal, and then, um, I forget who sells this, I think it's just the Master Mage, you're gonna use this refining polish mana and you'll get a platinum medal of intellect. And honestly, like I think every character, you don't really need it, but every character has loyalty and it's very easy to get 225 loyalty. So why not use it? I think I, I think you need to be in a fellowship for it to work. I'll check that again when I make the next one. So the next one is going to be a medal of vigor. So it's again, the same thing, but for, I'm just gonna move these up here, but for stamina, also really useful also works off of the loyalty skill it's the same recipe you're going to make a metal and then you're going to get refining polish for stamina and use it on that and you'll get a platinum metal of vigor let me try to make a fellowship and just make sure that this works yeah okay so you need to be in a fellowship but you get you know again based on loyalty so why not um, everybody everybody has loyalty all right, next is a Verindi Essences. These work off of the Deception skill, and you need to get a jewel from any Verindi. So you can do uh, yellow is the lowest level, then white, then blue, then red, then purple. Blue was the only one that I had on me at this time of making this video, so we're going to go with that one. The recipe is a little bit different because we're going to use gold scarabs because it's a lower level one. But for the highest level one, it's going to be the same thing. You're just going to use a platinum scarab like we did for the other recipes. So we'll smelt a scarab and then we're going to use it in the sheet metal form uh, or use the sheet metal. I always get it backwards, which one to use on which. So we got that. Now we're going to take a jeweler's handsaw. And we're going to cut this into a gold setting. And then we're going to use a lapping plate on our blue jewel. And then we're going to use that uh, like refined cut blue gem on the. Yeah, and you'll get a Verindi Consular Essence. So the highest level one is a Consul Essence. 
So this is super useful if you have deception and it's gonna add 24 to arcane lore. So if you have deception, you can really get a pretty high arcane lore. I obviously don't have deception on this character, um, so I'm not gonna be able to use it, but I on my uh, Nomad character that I was playing for a while and I did a couple of videos with that character, I have one of these to help me wear higher level gear. All right, and the last, probably most useful and most desired item that you can make with item tinkering is a lens. So lenses work off of the assess creature skill. Let's see where assess creature is. You, in order to have or use the best lens, you need to have specialized assess creature. But the lenses are really good. It basically casts imperil without having to have life magic. So super useful. And it casts off the spellcraft of the lens. So the highest spellcraft the incomparable lens that you can make has a spellcraft of 520. So for a character like Fen Rao, who has life magic, it's just 458. You're going to get resisted a lot less with a lens than you are if you're just trying to vuln with life magic. So super useful. And get rid of my gold scarabs. We don't need those anymore. We actually need a pyreal scarab. I'm showing you my whole messy... Oh, I do have a purple jewel. Why did I do the blue jewel one? I didn't even know this was in my inventory. That's really funny. <laughs> I'm sure somebody already noticed that and was like, why aren't you doing it? You have it right there. But anyway, I already did the blue jewel, so it's fine. All right, so we are going to start by smelting the pyreal scarab. It's a uh, pretty, a lot of these are pretty similar. So you're going to pour that into a uh, handle mold, and then you're going to use a carving knife on the handle mold but so there's three different levels of lens at the end that also use the pyral scarab but you're just going to keep to get the best one you're going to keep using the carving tool like as many times as you can i think it's three times yeah the carving knife cannot be used on the so until you get to a flawless pyral handle you're going to keep using the carving knife on it which it's kind of funny that that's all it is but that's where we are. You're going to take some abrasive polish. All of these things are store bought, by the way. So this unfinished lens is not something that you craft. You're going to now use abrasive polish on that to get a finished lens. And then you're going to use this lens frame on that finished lens to get a framed lens. And then once you have the framed lens and the flawless pyral handle, You'll use them on each other and you'll get an incomparable lens. So you have to have base 225 assess creature to even wield this. So I can't even put this out because my assess creature is 15. <laughs> so basically non-existent. Um, and like I said, to get that 225 base, you have to have spec assess creature because there's no stats that go into assess creature. It's just, it just is what it is. So... Yeah, those are the item tinkering devices. I find a lot of them to be super useful. The lens is obviously the most useful of the five, but it's also super useful to have these platinum medals of vigor and intellect because, again, anybody can use them who has loyalty. So you don't have to have anything special in order to use those. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.